Now I know absolutely everybody's been in this predicament before. You've been inside of a cave, you're fighting off the zoo bats, and you just can't find your dusk ball to try and catch the last gold bat that's inside the cave. Well guys, do not worry anymore because you know what? The Pokemon company has just gone and launched, look at this, the latest dust ball Pokemon card booster pack tin. The Pokeball tins have a new iteration. So yeah guys, absolutely massive shout out to my favorite Australian card shop, Collectible Madness. They recently launched an app and to celebrate the uh, launch of their app, they're like, you know what Ando, have an entire case of the brand new dust balls right here. And I was like, oh my goodness, you've got to be kidding me. These look so fun. They've always got the most random assortment of boosters ever. Like period, I have no idea what's going on with these ones. It could be Steam Siege. <laughs> Could be Burning Shadows. I don't know. We're going to find out together. If you don't know what these are, they're like legitimate like metal tins. And they're actually really high quality. I keep all of these. I've got a really big collection because TCA Gaming sent me like 30 of them once. But let's open up the brand new Dust Bowl one, see what's inside, and then we'll open up the rest. Um, and they've got the... You need like long nails for this plastic because it's it's properly on there, boys. Oh my good. It just keeps going. It's like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory's chocolate fountain. It just doesn't stop. Let's open up the, uh... Oh, no way! Look at Burning Shadows! Potential Rainbow Rare Charizard again. The Crimson Invasion, whatever. Couldn't care too much about that. And an Evolutions. Oh, this is going to be a good video. What's in the rest of these bad boys? And by the way, if anyone wants to know, the coin is a Ruby Red Volcanion, which looks pretty nifty. Now... Let's get the uh, second dust ball right here and find out what's inside of it. So it looks like you get three boosters. And it looks like it's basically exactly the same thing. So you get a uh, Burning Shadows, Evolutions, and a Crimson Invasion. Oh, I am digging that selection. Okay, so now, does the selection change when we go back to the original? So we got the original Pokeball tin right here. Let's see if they've changed the boosters to keep up with all of the case, or if each Pokeball design has a different selection. Oh, no way, guys! It's literally exactly the same. So you get your Crimson Invasion right here. Then you get your Burning Shadows. By the way, the Pokeball is, like, just a bit too short to actually have a booster. So all of them are going to be squished like this. But Burning Shadows and an Evolutions as well. But they've got the exact same coin. The same Ruby Red Volcanion. Oh, this is so good. So we're going to have multiple chances of getting two different types of Charizards. The reprint base set or the Rainbow Rare Charizard. Let's find out what's inside of a Great Ball. And what do you know? It's exactly the same thing again. So you get your Ruby Red Volcanion uh, coin, which is surprising. Like, it's the same coin every time. Then you get your Burning Shadows, your Evolutions, and your Crimson Invasion. So, so far, so good. Now we've just got the uh, Ultra Ball. And literally no surprise there at all. We've got the uh, Crimson, the Burning Shadows, and Evolutions once again, plus the exact same coin. And last but not least, this would be so peculiar if it was a different one, but we've got the Premier Ball. So let's open up the last one, and we've actually cracked open the entire case right here, which is pretty bananas. It looks like the same thing that Nurse Joy would put all the Pokemon on to heal them. Anyway, weird Pokemon antidote. Let's open up the Premier Ball tin. And hey, howdy, hey, look what we've got right here. We've got the Crimson, the Evolutions, and the Burning Shadows. Plus the exact same coin. So ladies and gentlemen, let's open up all of these Pokeballs. I'm absolutely psyched. And we've got all of those tins left over. Do you want a montage? All right, I'll give you a montage of what the tins look like if you buy an entire case. Oh guys, I think you know exactly what we're going to go for today. It's going to be the base set reprint Charizard for uh, the Evolutions boosters. And then out of the Burning Shadows, if somehow, I don't know what what sort of luck Arceus would have to come down and bless us with to get two Rainbow Ray Charizards in a week. But, oh man, solid green. If we could get another Rainbow Ray Charizard out of Burning Shadows, I don't even know what... I would jump out my window. Literally out that thing. Just... Whew, you and uh, I'd film it and everything. That would be ridiculous. But we've got a Poliwag. We've got a Pikachu with yellow cheeks as well. We've got the Ponyta. Then we've got the male Nidoran. Onyx Reverse. And then... Oh my! What is wrong with you? Why do you keep showing up on...
We apologise for this small interruption. We'll return to our broadcast shortly once Ando has resumed his call from pulling a bee drill. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry everyone had to witness that, but I am literally sick of it. It shows up everywhere now. Like, I thought main Etric was bad. You know? We thought Tapa Coco showed up in every product ever made. Oh no! Apparently we haven't met Beedrill, who shows up everywhere! We got a uh, fire type energy, hopefully summing up my mixtape as well as these poles. Then we got a Ghastly, we got a Corefish as well, Aaron looking good, Mankey. This is actually a weird set, like, we got a Beware Holo card as our first sort of rare pull right there. That's pretty good! I don't mind the hand drawn artwork on Beware, but... Crimson's a very odd set that we're gonna actually see a lot of this video. I don't know, what are your thoughts on Crimson Invasion? Because I know it is like a bit of a hated set, not everyone loves it to pieces, but... It's not like a... I don't know, it's like Steam Siege's cousin. You don't hate it as much as Steam Siege, but it's still not great. Is anyone like really love Crimson Invasion or does everyone hate it as much as Steam Siege? I'm curious, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. But we got a Togedemaru, PewDiePie, Weakness Policy, and an Electros, regular rare. Burning Shadows has to be one of the toughest flipping sets to get anything out of, I swear. Just even getting a regular Charizard GX is so difficult. So that was our Crimson. So let's go four from the back. You gotta juggle the card trick too, because on the Sun and Moons it's four. Then you go to X and Y Evolutions, it goes back to three. Darkness type right there, peaking red card. Not just a regular one, a peaking one. Then a Spoink, Swablu, Swinub. Then Minchino, followed up by Type Null. And a really angry Wigglytuff. I think Wigglytuff just found out that uh, Weedle ate the cheesecake in the fridge. Totally, I totally didn't do that last night, but... <clears throat> Alright, so we're gonna Burning Shadows right there. Let's open you up, swing you round. So what i found with these like, Pokeball tins, right, if you get them all from the same case, usually, I don't know, about five or four of them are dots. Like, they're not any good, you're gonna get pretty poop balls. But all it takes is one Pokeball, or one or one or two Pokeball tins, always come through with absolute lip smackers. Mudsdale regular rare, oh no. Yeah, there's always like an outlier. Just one of the tins is like cracked out beyond belief and it always has just crazy pulls like full art secret rares and it always seems to be the way. So we're just gonna wait for that tin to pop up. We're gonna go through all of these now. You guys can sort of tell the order. Um, I tried to lay it out so you can sort of tell. It start, I mean, the last sort of boost backs down there are gonna be the Dusk Balls and the newer ones are gonna be like Premier Balls, Ultra Balls, regular rare Mewtwo. Not too shabby, I'll definitely take a regular rare Mewtwo. I don't know, I won't put it in the back though, but that's a nice fall. Back to Crimson Invasion, and then we're on to Evolutions. Man, I'm quite happy they did Burning Shadows, but also kind of bummed out they put the uh, Crimson in there. Such a weird choice. Like, I would have thought maybe they should have put a Rebel Clash in there. Maybe a Sword and Shield. Like, we're on to a new era. Maybe on the final one they finally wake up. Although, I think a lot of people always, like, sort of say, the Pokeball Tins... It's Pokemon's way of clearing out the factory. And it's really weird because Evolutions and Burning Shadows, very, very expensive sets, or they're getting very expensive right now because once they go out of print, it's going to be something that a lot of people want. But why? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. I think I like them. I think I enjoy these uh, sort of tins. We're just going to find the one that has decent pulls inside. Misty's Determination, Revive, Vulpix, Sandshrew, Ponida, Magnemite, Pikachu, Clefairy Reverse, and a Dugong Regular Rare. It's alright, ladies and gentlemen, because it's Burning Shadows time. Come on, even just a regular Charizard GX. I'd massage you into that one. That sounds pretty good. And everyone cashing in the code cards, if you get a Charizard, I swear, you're gonna literally going to find, find me and tell me. Whether that's email, tweet, Instagram tag. Dabbing Dusk Goals back in town, then we're gonna Esper, Morlu, Charmander, hopefully hinting at something. Oh, it's not. Here we go, regular evolutions, we're back in town. Let's go for a base set, holo, reprint of anything. Doesn't even have to be the Charizard. I mean, a full art as well would be pretty cool. It's a nice full art cards and evolutions. Three from the back, swing it around, we got Brock Scrit right here. Then we're gonna Maintenance. Then a Switch Trainer, Machop, Voltorb, Diglett, 
There was two cards there. Uh, Caterpie, Poliwag, Reverse Farfetch'd, and then... None other than a Mewtwo EX, which is only our second Ultra Rare pull, believe it or not. It's not even a second, it's our first Ultra Rare pull. The only other thing we got was a Beware. No way. Cyburn with 110. Mewtwo EX. It's a really good looking card. I love all the evolution, like EXs, full arts and all that. It's actually a really nice set. Like, I don't know why people sort of hate it a little bit. Well, let's put you at the back. Mewtwo EX looking good. And hopefully that lock can follow through, funnel into and absorb the burning shadows. Please, please be a white and green code. Oh my goodness. We might go this whole entire case and not have one white and green code on a burning shadows. Still, I'll uh, link this set down below if you guys do want to purchase it. I'll chuck uh, yeah, a link down below and you can try your luck on these things. Let me know how you go. Probably worth it just because you get the burning shadows and evolutions without paying the Burning Shadows Evolutions pumped up prices on eBay at the moment. Crimson Invasion again, all right. We're back in Crimson Town, boys. Now, there's no expectation here. I don't really want anything out of Crimson Invasion, and that usually leads to me getting something out of Crimson Invasion. So let's see what we can get. We've got a Metal Type right here, Kakuna, then a Gastodon, then an Aron as well, Mankey, Swinob, Cacnea. I've never seen a Cacnea more proud in my entire life. That's how I walk to McDonald's knowing I want a double cheeseburger. It's happening, boys. All right, Cacnea, you go to the side. Bunnelby, Magikarp. Looking a bit suspicious back there. And then, none- Oh, gosh! Yeet! This is ridiculous. He's across two sets. He was in the evolutions. Now he's in the crimson. Why? 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 Who's at the Pokemon office that thinks, oh, this is a jolly good idea. I'm going to put Beedrill in every set ever made. Because everyone, you know what? Everyone always wanted. Everyone always wanted a Beedrill cart. Pylos, it's ruined my day. Minchino, Numel, Swinub, Swablu. Uh, at least it wasn't a Beedrill. All right. Crimson's out the way. Let's get back to the Evolutions Town. And I think we're on our final, like, last lot of boosters. If I get nothing out of all of these, we've just opened an entire case. This was an entire sealed case, which I Walmart's targets and all that get. I opened it all in one video, and we got one Mewtwo EX and one Holo card. There's got to be something in here. There's got to be a red. Oh, here we go, Charizard Spirit Link. There's got to be a redeeming, like, absolutely unholy pull, like a Charizard. Surely, Caterpie, Rattata. Reverse, and then a regular rare Mewtwo. Burning Shadows time. Ladies and gentlemen, I kid you not. Is this going to be... Oh, my Aunt Jemima. Sitting in a rocking chair in West Virginia. Are you kidding me right now? There is no physical way we're going to open an entire case and only get a Mewtwo EX. Stuffle, Meowth, Crab Ruler, Charmander, Rhyma B. Evolutions. Then, oh my gosh, is that it? We're going to end it on a Burning Shadows, which could be good or bad. But we're going to Evolutions, Crimson Invasion, Burning Shadows. Oh, this is good. This is good news. There is the code card. I still wouldn't guarantee it, though. It's happened before. We've got stuff and didn't actually get... Like, we got a white and green code. Didn't get anything. Haunter, Seal, Poliwag, Tangler, Voltorb. Here we go, here we go, Metapod Reverse, and then a Holo Raichu, it's not too shabby, I do love this card, I do love any Holo reprint card, but Spark Bolt with 70 plus, energizes the attacks, and a good looking Holo background might not be the saving grace. I mean, three cards, six Pokeballs, let's get a yikes in the chat one time. We've got a Crimson Invasion right here, as our second to last booster. Can this be the uh, God Pokeball tin? I mean, a solid green. You're doing me nasty. Surely, they've given us absolutely nothing because they know inside of that Burning Shadows is a Rainbow Ray Charizard. Inside of there is going to be the pull of the century that Uncle Ando is jumping out the old window for. We'll get a Swablu, Carablast, and then after a Counter Energy, Classic Registeel. It's all down to you, bud. Burning Shadows Necrozma. I'm going to open it up. We're going to swing it around. There is the code card. 
do not let this go down as one of the most shocking ratioed Pokeball tin openings I've ever done. We're gonna Gloom, and then for the final pull, what do you think? Rainbow Rare Charizard inbound. Oh no, oh no, oh no. It's the fish with big lips. Um, ladies and gentlemen, you may need to get a big bag of popcorn because this is going to take forever. I don't, I don't want to take too much of your time up, but for that entire six Pokeball tin opening, we got a Beware Holo card right there. We got a Raichu Holo card, and we got a Mewtwo EX. Until next time, have a fantastic day. Please subscribe to the channel. We're almost on two million, but I'll see you then. Oh no.